This is the Chinese cooking channel called Chinese Cooking Channel. Today we're going to season a carbon steel fry pan. So this fry pan you can use it for stir fry and cooking Chinese as well. Eventually this fry pan will look like this wok with the surface because they're both carbon steel. So just going to clean this side. And then I'm just going to clean the, the handle too. I'm not going to condition the handle. I think it's got a, some kind of coating on it. But I'm going to clean it anyway, just by uh, by using the soap pad here. Put some more of this uh, dish liquid detergent. So normally when you uh, use a wok, you don't need to use soap when you clean it. But for the first step, I do put some uh, mild dishwashing liquid just to clean the surface. The handle doesn't need seasoning, it's got a coating on it. So I just washed it with a bit of dishwashing soap. Just dry it off like that. Here I'm using a portable outdoor stove to season the carbon steel fry pan. Put the heat setting on high. So you'll notice that the pan will start turning brown sometimes black so then the pan surface will turn blue it turns blue because of the protective layer of blue iron oxide which protects the surface of the pan before seasoning you can also heat the sides and the edges of the pan as well but you don't have to because eventually it will also season as you cook. For the next step, add three or four tablespoons of cooking oil such as peanut oil or corn oil. But don't use olive oil because olive oil has a low burning temperature. Spread the cooking oil over the frying pan surface using a paper napkin. I like to use uh, tongs so I don't burn my fingers. Don't worry if the surface appears uneven in color or appears blotchy. It's optional once again if you want to do the sides and the edges. Now once you finish uh, oiling the pan, add some more oil to the napkin and do the whole process again. You can uh, get a new napkin if the first one is already worn out. With a good quality carbon steel fry pan, it's nearly impossible to destroy it. You can season a new carbon steel fry pan according to the instructions enclosed, but I like to season the carbon steel fry pan just like the way I season a brand new wok. This is the third time I'm going to apply the oil to the surface of the frying pan. So I did it the same way with my wok. So as, as you can see the surface is now more brown. There is less blue color because the iron oxide has been burned off. Some people like to use potato skins but I use the traditional ingredients for seasoning a Chinese wok. So I find some old green onions, I have some uh, ginger, and I'm going to add some more oil as I go. So you can just stir fry the, the uh, ginger and green onions. So this is the first step in turning your surface into a black patina finish. So eventually the surface of the pan will be non-stick. Once again, it's optional to do the side and the edges. So this will also help to season the overall surface. To speed up this process, you can add more vegetables. So I also like to use celery. And you can also use other vegetables like onions. 
So when you put more more vegetables, it will speed up the process. Using a portable outdoor stove, it takes about 25 to 30 minutes to season a brand new carbon steel fry pan. Now, just take a napkin and wipe down the surface of your fry pan. So there you have it. Your newly seasoned carbon steel fry pan is ready for all your cooking adventures. So I just I finished my uh, seasoning of this uh, pan. So after one time, it looks pretty good. So this is a real quality pan. So if you want to buy this pan, just check under my uh, video in the uh, description. You'll find how to buy one of these pans. Now you can order the products and ingredients that I use in my cooking videos. Just click the link below in the description for the Chinese cooking accessory guide. You can order everything online, including the wok that I use and some of the equipment that I use. So I've been uh seasoning a new wok so i use it for cooking almost every day for the first week so yesterday we cooked the uh, hamburgers the japanese hamburgers that's uh oil coming from the ragu beef ragu beef is very uh, fat so lots of oil for you to uh, season the frying pan during the week we also cook some lamb chops to help build a strong black patina surface during the first week of cooking, I also did a few stir fries. So the sauces and the oils and the vegetables will help develop the black hard patina surface of the frying pan. To speed up the seasoning of the fry pan, I cook with it every day for the first week. Stay tuned for my video on how to clean and maintain your fry pan. Learn how to take care of uneven surfaces and carbon buildup. Learn how to clean and maintain your fry pan for everyday cooking. Learn how to strip down and reseason your fry pan on the way to a perfect non-stick patina surface.